Minute Maid Park in Houston. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Houston Astros. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Well, Singy, this ballpark still among the game's best. When the roof is open, it feels like an outdoor ballpark. And then you have the shade and the cool when the roof is closed. Yeah, and formerly Towles Hill out there in center. You still have the Crawford boxes in left, a unique setback in left center field, which causes the left fielders to have to play differently. But there is a lot of character to this place. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Justin Verlander, having a pretty ridiculous season so far, singing. Yeah, you see there with the sub-2 ERA, very dependable guy, and he's been pretty much lights out so far this season. So, you know, when a guy like this takes the mound, Boog, I I'm expecting to watch him get into a rhythm quickly and just move through a ball game. Sometimes you can see some big strikeouts. Other times it's hard to even know he's there because the innings go so quickly. Steven yep. Kwan leading things off and no takes ball. a strike. One strike. And it's strike two. No ball. Two strikes. And one that two. one upstairs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. One down, base is empty. Top of the zone for a called strike. And that one is inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Caught him looking for the K. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one, punching out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. Two outs, space is empty. And now here's the veteran D.H., Jose Ramirez. Right ah. through there for a strike. <laughs> and a base hit right there. And that keeps the inning going. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Hard ground ball, base now. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Two consecutive base hits for this team. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and... Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And now it's going to be David Fry out towards right center field. And he can't make the play. The run comes across, and the Guardians score first. It's 1-0. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blooper, flare, duck snort, lawn dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. Will Brennan stands in now and watches strike one. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in. You got to try to get another one or maybe two. 
smoked on the ground a second. They get the force. They limit the damage here. They get a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Guardians one. The Astros coming to bat. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And on the hill today, number 39. And Singy, that may be his name, but the strikeout is his game. Well, Boog, I can tell you've been working on that one, but yes, you are right. This guy's strikeout for nine, over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's able to do, man, it's going to be a fun one to watch today. We'll say Altuve up to hit here. And the pitch. Altuve has a lot of history with the Astros. In fact, he's played so many seasons in Houston that he's the only player to be named an all-star in both leagues while playing for the same team. You know, Boog, Altuve goes back all the way to those Astros days in the NL Central before they moved to the AL West. Good eye on that spot. Good eye right there. Late that time, and it's strike two. Down the line, it's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. All over that one right there. Absolutely that punished that pitch. The Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. Here's Alex Bregman. Here's the pitch. Runner on the goal. Foul ball there. That one hooked foul. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Yeah, with two strikes here, you really want to miss outside the zone with that breaking ball. And the righty deals. Ball and one. one and two. Runner at first with no outs here. Ball. And he gets Bregman. And one gone. Batting third. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Big time power. Up and in. One and oh. On the corner for a strike. The belt and fires. Hit on the ground might be two. Off balance B, there's one. And that's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. On to the second inning now from Minute Maid Park. It's the Guardians one and the Astros nothing. Second inning Leading set to go. So in now for Cleveland, Tyler Freeman. Two. Tyler Freeman. The wind of the pitch. This to third. Bregman to first. And quickly one away in the second. Batting eight. The catcher. Bo, Bo Naylor at the plate Naylor. now. And Cleveland on top one zip. Now fly ball to right center. Alvarez heads towards it. And there's two away. Batting on the shortstop. Brian. Here's Brian Riquillo. Riquillo. 
And it's fouled away. Two outs, bases empty. Strike two. Hard hit left side. Over to Abreu. And that is the inning. The Guardians go down in order. They lead it 1 0. Back here in Houston, we head to the bottom of the second, and now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. So now here's Kyle Tucker. Tucker, former fifth overall pick in the 2015 draft by the Astros. This guy's turned into a whale of a player. And a pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Tucker hits for power. He's got 30 homer power, but the strikeout rate is under 20%. Yeah, the right hater deals. Ball. One ball, one strike. The one one. Ball. Great take right there. Showed some really good discipline. Breaking ball coming in. You see it well, but don't trust that it's going to hang on for a strike. Nice job. Swings and misses. Two and two now. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And it's filled up. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Quan makes the catch, and there's one gone. Not good. Not shortstop. So next up for Houston, Jeremy Pena. That one off the mark. And that is ball one. The Guardians up by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Swings through that one. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. Now one out to right on the move. He's got it. Two down. That is quick. The designated hitter. So now the Astros designated hitter, Gainer Diaz. Ball one there. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. And Two another one. ball. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He'll circle the bases. His fourth home run of the season. It's 1 1. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Mauricio Dubon up next for the Astros. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two outs. One one. Two. 
And a big swing and a miss. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Tied up here in the early going. Foul ball still a one and two count. Right hander kicks deals. Got him swinging. Astros not your run on the solo homer. All even now at 1 1. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. New inning getting started. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Stephen Kwan. Kwan, 26 years old, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2018. There's a strike. Felt impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He was all that, over that one. Good. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Here's Andres Jimenez. Struck out looking in his first at bat. 1-0. In the dirt. In there safely. And that's a wild pitch as he moves into scoring position. Can't imagine he's too happy with that one on the mound. Just one pitch after giving up the single, he basically turns it into a double. Quan stands at second with no outs. And another ball. Ball three. This one in the dirt and an excellent job keeping it right there. Left hand hitter waits. Bounce to the right. Foul. And that's just foul. Look like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Puts it away for the out. Now that designated hitter, Jose Ramirez. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Singled and scored his first time. That one misses, and that's ball one. And a foul ball. Just off the outside edge, two and one. Just missed. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Next offering is in oh, for a strike. Yeah. One out and a runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Got him looking. And he didn't like the call. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Naylor batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Slow roller to first. Abreu. The flip to the pitcher That's covering. Out. Third out. They get a leadoff single but leave him stranded. We head down to the home half of inning number three. All tied 1-1. One, one.
back here in Houston, set for the bottom of the third. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Abreu. And the right hander back to work. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Naylor makes the grab one away. Batting up. The catcher. Victor Caratini. Vic Caratini at the plate. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Ball, no. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul straight back. Here's a one two and a swing and a miss and there are two down. Here's the former MVP Jose Altuve one for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single saying he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do. I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. But why to kick the pitch? Ripped on a line. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. Astros go down 1-2-3. Still tied. 1-1. One, one. And we're back. Leading now the third the baseman, Brody. David Fry. Baseman, He's looking six. to hit the ball the other David way in 99% Fry. of his at-bats. But if you make a mistake middle in... He can touch you up for a four bagger. The wind of the pitch. Yeah, that's in there at the knees for a strike. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Alvarez makes the play and a quick out number one. Now that. Will Brennan will hit next. He's 0 for 1. Fought off foul. That one fouled off. One out, base is empty. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Oh. And ball one. One, two. One down, base is empty. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Bregman settles under it, makes the catch, and there's two down. Well, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone, a swing and miss or weak contact. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. Grounded out his first time. And that's in there for strike one. All tied up, top half of inning number four. What a stop! Throws from his knees. On the money, nice play. 
making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Bottom four, digging in, Alex Bregman. The third baseman, Alex Bregman. The wind of the pitch. And that one is in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Going two now. Dives, and he can't hang on. The throw is still in time. He keeps his composure to get the out. Just a great effort all the way around at third base right there. Nice job to get a glove on it with the dive, but it was the recovery that was so impressive. If he doesn't hop to his feet and get the throw off in such a fluid motion over there, I kind of doubt he gets the out. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. First pitch just misses. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that one is in the dirt. Now two balls and a strike. Left-hand batter waits. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Kicks and fires. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Okay. Fights it off, you'll see another. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, that high forcing like fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop up. That is the inning. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And here's the catcher, the Bo catcher. Naylor. Bo Naylor. The right hander back to work. Ah. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. You know, these Guardians just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with one some more. authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. And a foul ball. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. One, two now. Just two. misses with that one. Two, two. That oh, just misses. Counts full three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And here it comes. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and they don't get an out on the play. Go ahead, run on base. Stepping up for the Guardians, Ryan Rocchio. Grounded out his first time up. And that one fouled off.
fouled off. He was late. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And he'll two. And ball there's one. a ball. Ah. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan, one for two. Runner on the goal. And he deals. Gets the call. Oh, a two down. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Naylor leads off first with one away. Got him. And now two gone. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. So up next, Andres Jimenez. No. Just missed. Two outs. Oh. And that's a little bit high. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first. And we're at the top of the fifth. That one fouled off two and two. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Guardians leave one. Score remains deadlocked at one. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And the batter now, Jeremy Pena. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Well, these Astros just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Not even close there. And the count is one and two. Down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Righty delivers. And it That's goes foul. just foul. One, two now. Oh. That one missed. Oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. 3-2. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. in the box now take strike one and I know you want to be patient as a hitter but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight and he got one right there but left the bat on his shoulder and a pitch bounding ball here rolls foul go ahead run it first nobody out last half of inning number five 
Bounce to the left side. Sneaks through base hit. Around second is Pena. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and we'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Mauricio Dubon getting ready to hit. And the pitch in Let's for a strike. Go. And the count one and one. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Ball. In the dirt, blocked. Throw to second, oh, not in time. He's there easily. Diaz in the scored position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. Fly ball to right. He's under it. And there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor okay. like him, he is the looking forward base. to making up for it okay. in his next at bat. Abreu. Jose Abreu up to hit. Golden opportunity right here. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. you one. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Two on, one out. In the air, right side. He's under it. Squeezes it. Runner tags from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. They take the lead. It's 2-1. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Victor Caratini digs in now. Splits the plate. 0-1. And that one a little bit high. Diaz stands at second with two gone. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Coming home. Fires it to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in. And they lead by two. Well done. Drives in the run. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. So the Houston lineup turns over. And next to hit for Houston, Jose Altuve. And first offering is fouled off. Out to short, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. Two consecutive base Those hits for these guys two. here. Just one of those seen high right. base hits through the infield. Right. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And now it's Alex Bregman. Foul ball there. Two on, two outs. And that one fouled off.
Riding to the plate. Wouldn't One, chase two. that time. Rarely will you see a pitcher just a wasted pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Kicks and deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. And the pitch. And it delivers outside. It's a good take. And the righty deals. In the air, left field. Quan moving under it. And the inning is over. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Five innings complete. It's the Astros three and the Guardians one. Back here in Houston, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Jose Ramirez. Verlander back to work. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Drifts towards it. And there's one down. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Naylor at the play for the third time as he comes up empty there. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. Fry no, up for the third time and takes ball one. And there's a foul ball. The Guardians down by a pair. And we're the top half of the sixth. Good oh, eye in that spot. Oh. And that's in for a strike. Stairs. Will Brennan next to bat for Cleveland. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Brennan in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. Brennan measures six feet even, 26 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round. Back in 2019. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. Good yeah. eye right oh. there. Two outs. Fouls one off. 
Two and two. To third. And that should be extra bases. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Relay throw home. It's off the mark, and he scores. And they trail by one. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Chance now to even this game. If they can put a ball in play, maybe an error, maybe a hit. Now here is Tyler Freeman. There's the strike. Fought off foul. Man at second. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. Ooh. Got it! That ends the inning and they limit the damage. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Logan Allen. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Now, you're Don Alvarez. This guy with light tower power. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Right and he handles it himself for the out. Kyle Tucker. Here's Kyle Tucker. That catches yep. the top part of the zone. That's strike one. Some hitters are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. There's a strike. He doesn't seem to like the pitch no up. Hasn't Good offered strike. on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. That's Next the offering is downstairs. Movement One in the ball. bullpen. Tim Heron, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. One down, base is empty. Down. Now two out. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed, it's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Pena in the box now. No balls and a strike. That one the other way. He's got it. And that is out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Astros three and the Guardians two. We go to the top of the seventh. So in now for Cleveland, Bo Naylor. Verlander back to work. Right through there for a strike. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Rafael Montero getting ready to go. Abreu also throwing. And that one fouled off. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough the sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Ball. Just inside. off the inside corner, ball one. 
pitch misses and it's two and two. Strike three got him swinging and one away. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you get the leadoff hitter, so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Rokio, batting with one down, no takes a strike. The beauty of his skill set as a pitcher is the break in his stuff doesn't go away when he's tired. I mean, his pitches always seem to have life. Just doesn't matter if it's early or late. He doesn't make it easy for the batter. Oh. Next offering down in the dirt. Hard hit to third. Bregman to first and two away to start the seven. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So the lineup flips over. Stephen Kwan now at the plate. One for three. Found back our way and that's out of play. And One that's more. in the dirt. Holding on to a one run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. Up the middle into the outfield base hit. The battle. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Verlander done in this one, and a nice effort out of him, no doubt. New arm coming on. We'll be back for that in a moment. Astros go to the pen, and here comes Hunter Brown. And he's got a big-time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters are going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. And he grounds one to the right side. He takes it himself Out. to the bag, and that'll do it. So a strong showing there from the Houston bullpen. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Astros three and the Guardians two. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Tristan McKenzie. Well, walks have been a big issue for him this year, so I expect these hitters to be patient up there. Well, one run game. Now here's the Astros designated hitter, Gainer Diaz. He's already homered here in this one. That's a slider for a strike. And now it's even up. There's a swing and a drive. That's down. One hops off the wall. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Ball one, one no strikes. Runner at second, nobody out. And that one pulled foul. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count. Just not able to square it up. Here's a high chopper. And he grabs it in foul ground. Man at second. Swings and misses, struck him out. 
He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And here's the first baseman, Jose Abreu. That pitch gets the corner. Strike one. Kicks and fires. Ball. That's a little bit low. One ball, one strike. This one popped up. Naylor gets under it. He's got it. There's two away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Victor Caratini up next for the Astros. Well, bottom of the order here, Boog. You got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add on run. And the number nine guy at the plate. This is no, off the it. inside, and that's ball one. And no. there's a the ball. Love how this guy grinds out at bats. I mean, he's down there at the bottom of the lineup in the nine hole, but he's worked himself into a really good hitter's count, trying to pick up a two out RBI. Ball that three. one misses, and it's three and oh. Jose Altuve. To bat next. Diaz at second with two down. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. And a foul ball. Payoff pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Outside, and that is ball four. Now that second baseman, Jose. Jose Altuve, the next to hit. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at ah. game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Oh, well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Chop back up the middle. They take the force out. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. Two left for the Astros, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Back here in Houston, here's Jose Ramirez. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate and a strike meanwhile activity in the bullpen Josh Hader the closer of the staff is getting loose to finish this one off and fouled off looking to get the tying run on base Oh, that Time. got him. It got it. And that'll put the tying run on base to start the inning. For the Here's Josh Naylor. Well, that can certainly jumpstart an offense. The hit by pitch right there. And now they have the opportunity to make it really hurt on the scoreboard. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. A towering shot. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 4-3. That sound you hear is every writer in the press box smashing the delete button on their keyboards. Talk about flipping the script, Boog. This story was set up for a different type of finish. Now, who knows how to live?
that one was a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay. So digging in David Fry. And the first pitch misses for ball one. one ball. On the mound, no this is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. Now this is in the air down the line. Tucker on the move. He's got it. And there's one down. Outstanding catch right there. And I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Brennan stands in now and watches strike one. On the ground to third. And they got That's him. An out. The center fielder, number two, Tyler. And up Freeman. next for Cleveland, Tyler Freeman. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Oh. Just missed. Two runs across in the inning, and we're in the top of the eighth. Oh. And a swing and a miss there. One one. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a foul straight back. Two down, nobody on. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Cleveland with a pair on this blast. It's now a four three ball game. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, number 36. He's pitching on two days rest. Now it's Alex Bregman. The third baseman, Alex Bregman. The pitch. A little bit low. Activity in the bullpen. Emmanuel Classe, the closer, getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. And the 1 0. In the air to left, down the line. And that drops foul. And that one fouled off. Right-handed reliever. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Next offering is down low. And the count is even two and two. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. Your Don Alvarez waiting for a turn at the plate. At the belt and fires. And the tying run is on base. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. No outs. Runner at first. Your Don Alvarez up next for the Astros. Swing and a miss. Going one with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Just misses. One and two to count. That's a really good take. Fights that one away, still one and two. 
with the tying run on at first here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Ball the mark there and that's ball two. Good to lay off that pitch down. The 2 2 now. Okay. In the dirt. And the runner holds. Three and two now. Oh. And a swing and a miss. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an event like, like that one. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Little chopper rolls foul. Bregman at first, one gone. Here comes a pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. Popped in the air, left side. And a base hit right there. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Pitcher on now, Nick Sandlin. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Making a move at first, on to pinch run for Houston, Jake Myers. First and second, one out. Here's the shortstop at the play, Jeremy Pena. And that's outside. The 1 0. Ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Righty delivers. Fall off foul. One out. The possible tying and go ahead runs on base. And another ball. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. So the tying run at second. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Side and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. So base is loaded with one away. Now here is Yaner Diaz. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. 
Bunts it, but he can't keep it fair. Looked like the safety squeeze there. And the right hander deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, now right? I mean, Left missed field. opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. And that helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. And that one fouled off. there one ball one strike line drive base hit one runs in here comes the throw he's in there five four now as they take the lead such great concentration everybody on their feet knowing that you can come through with a good swing and there he doesn't try to do too much. So first and second with two outs. Jose Abreu up next for the Astros. This one chopped on the ground but foul. Back and forth we go a seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. Pitch is in the dirt, and the count one and two. Right side. Brennan should have this one. He's there. He's got it. And that'll do it. A couple of runs in the inning puts him ahead. Through eight full, it's the Astros five and the Guardians four. Now into the ball game on defense, Jake Myers. He takes over and right. Also entering the game, Greg Kessinger. He's the new third baseman. Here's the catcher, Bo Naylor. The catcher, Bo Naylor. As the lefty gets to work, All and right. immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Left hand hitter waits. Out to short, Pena. And the leadoff man Out. retired here in the ninth. Those plays can be tricky, they're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Rokio. Next to hit, Ryan Rokio. On the ground is short, and that one finds its way through. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Now back, the left fielder, Steven Kwan. Steven Kwan will hit next. Yeah. 
in yeah. there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. A oh, one down. Right field down the line and that one slices foul. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so in an 0-2 count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Last out for the Guardians in this one. Now it's the second baseman, Andres oh. Jimenez. That's one off ball. the mark, no and strike. it's one to know. Step off, throw to first, he's and he's back in standing. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off, it's over. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. That's ball down field. and in. With the go ahead run at the plate, here at the top of the ninth. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. He pulls it down. Ball game. And the Astros strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, Boo, I can think of prettier ways to get your first win on the mound in the majors. They'll have some work to do after the blown save, but a win is a win. Congrats to him on this career milestone. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. They hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shabby saying so long.